Hi everyone. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to create the ghost and the spider wands. And so here you have a little example of the ghosts and the spiders that I made. I think they are super adorable and these are also super easy to create. Now one thing that I will tell you is I made a little uh, boo-boo here because my spider only has six legs as you can see and spiders have eight legs so we're going to actually add two more legs to these so yeah don't make that mistake <laughs> okay but let's start with our ghost and so let me show you the ghosts here so we're going to need again pipe cleaners to create these for the ghost we're going to need um, white pipe cleaners and also white felt okay and then any choice of paper you like any choice of uh, straws and um, little sequins and things to put inside the shaker okay so how I did these little um these little ghost shapes here was I was inspired by this little ghost little sticker that I have and um, so yeah this was my inspiration to kind of follow the little shapes so just look at any ghost uh, image that you like and try to follow that shape and you know it's not going to be um it's all right if it's not looking exactly like the like the picture that you have because you know ghosts are supposed to be you know different little shapes so whatever shape you make it'll be good so like you see here this one is even like taller and a little bit skinnier this one is a little bit fatter so it's okay um, if your all your ghosts are not the same and then you just need uh, little things to embellish and to put um, like little tool here if you like to do that or little bows to add some bows to them okay okay so I already have here my pipe cleaner and okay I'll show you again you're gonna need four pipe cleaners to create one ghost so right now I have two here and I'm going to do the same thing that we did for our cats. We are going to twist our pipe cleaners together. So I'm just going to twist, twist. Until you reach the end there okay so we have that so I already did uh, one here that I twisted so you're just going to need one uh, and then we will use the other one to put on top of our of our ghost when we put the acetate now I'm going to start uh, making my little ghost shape and I have one here that I already made but again I'll show you like so this was my inspiration so I just kind of started uh, I started trying to mimic this little piece here uh, I tried to mimic that so I'm just going to start bending my wire like that and then I do another bend and then I kind of I kind of start bending and this you know it's you gonna have to practice a little bit but the good thing about this is that you know this um, pipe cleaner thing here it's so um, nice to you know manipulate it's easy to bend and, you know just play with it until you kinda get your shape that you like and, and this is okay this is not good but what I try to start doing is I'll glue I'll just glue it even though it's not the shape that I want I'm just going to glue the tip, so overlap it like that, okay, just grab it like that, okay, and then 
I'm going to start playing with it more until I get the shape that I want. And you see how the, the ghost has like a, it's bended towards the inside here. So I'm just going to kind of bend it towards the inside there. And I think I like this now. So there you go. Here you have your little ghost. So, you know, you could turn it around if you want it facing that way or if you want it facing this way. But here's my little shape, and this was the other one that I made before. So just play with it until you have the shape that you like, okay? So now we're going to grab the paper, um, again, any design paper that you like to have for your background. I'm going to use this gold and white paper. And I'm going to grab my tweezers. And I'm going to put glue around my ghost. And just put it there. Super cute. Now we're going to cut around our ghost. So these steps are actually very similar to the ones from the cat. It's just that we're making it a, uh, a different shape. Okay, so there you go. So we have our little ghost. Now we're going to put um, our little shaker pieces that I separated. So I have some of these. Um, I have some of these here. These are uh, some sequins from Cartwright Sequence. So I'm and so I'm going to use some of these here for this ghost. I think I put too many there. Okay. And I am going to put some, I have, let's see, I just want some pumpkins in there. So I'm just going to grab some little pumpkins. More little pumpkins. Mm -hmm. Maybe some little ghosts also, since these are ghosts. We could put some little ghosts in there. There you go. So we have that. Um, I think I want to put some... Um, seed beads, maybe. there. A lot of these little seed beads and sequins I buy from Cartwright Sequins. So that's where I get them. Alright, so I think I'm done with what I want to have inside of my shaker. So, so far I hope that you're watching what I'm doing. Now I'm going to add my acetate on top. Like that. So, we are going to put some glue on top of our ghost. So I'm just going to do a little part here. 
Again, try not to have a lot of um, glue strings inside. So I'm just going to stick that first part there. And then it's just easier to lift this up and keep on gluing. Okay, so now just shake it and, you know, just want to see that everything is good. How cute. Okay. So now we are going to cut. there. Okay, so now we're going to grab our other little piece that we already twisted and we are going to um, just start gluing around. Okay, so I'm just going to start right here and go slowly, you know, go slowly and then just start bending and following the shape. So now I have that shape and it's just gonna be easier for when you're gonna glue it. So just lift from wherever you left off and keep on gluing. And it's just easier. Now, and if you have like some glue coming from the outside here, just gonna trim it. It doesn't really matter because we are going to cover this. Now you can leave it like this if you don't mind this, because you're gonna you're gonna see some glue coming from this part. You see? Now if you don't mind that, you can leave it like that, or you could cover it, which that's what I'm gonna do. And um, so first we're going to put our felt on the back because that I like to do that. Um, and then we will cover this piece here also. I'm going to glue this. And here's where we're going to use our straw. So I'm going to use this straw here. Again, I'm just going to pinch my straw. And you just want it to be um, straight. So just look at your straw straight there. Okay, and then we are going to start gluing. Our ghost.
Now we're going to cut around. So these steps are pretty much the same steps we did with our cat. Okay, so there we have that. Now we are going to, um, I'm going to cut some pieces here. I'm going to cover this, okay? So you're just going to start um, gluing this right here, okay? Like that. You see? So we will cover this. So I'm going to start actually over here. Just going to put it over here. you see I'm just gonna grab another piece and I'm just gonna put it right there Just keep on. So I'm just going to cut this here and overlap that right there. Okay, so now it looks really nice on the front. You see how nice? So now we're going to, now you could cut this, trim this, or you could just glue this and pinch it and glue it. I'm gonna try to cut it. Just cut that extra. If you're seeing this, okay. So um, if you have a little pieces like this that you need to glue, just, just glue them. Just put a little bit of glue and glue it.
Okay, but there you go. And it just looks nicer. So, you see? Okay. So, so far we have that. So now we have super cute little ghost shape here. Oh my god, how cute. Okay, so now um, I am going to put a little bow and I already uh, prepped this little, go uh, little bow here. I like this little bow, so cute. So I'm just going to glue that. So cute. So there you go. Has a little bow. Now we're going to give this cute little ghost googly eyes. So I have my two little googly eyes there. Some glue everywhere. Okay, so. We're just going to put our little eyes wherever we feel. And, you know, you can put them like um, kind of wonky looking, however you think it'll be cute. If you don't feel so comfortable using the glue um, for this, you could always use some glossy accents. eyes right there. So far it looks super cute. How cute. Okay so I think I want to give, um, I want to put a little rhinestone up, oops, on top of the bow just for more bling. So there, super cute. And now I'm going to make the, if you see here, I make, um, let me show you, where's the other one? I made the little mouth. You don't have to do that, but I think it looks nicer if you give them like, like a little mouth like this. Okay, so you wanna practice first. I kind of practiced before I did this. And then um, just see where you might want to. And just kind of do like an oval shape. Okay. And then you want to color inside of it. And it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. See, this one is a little bit too big here, but it's okay. And I'm gonna give my ghost some little eyelashes. Ooh. This ghost came a little bit wonky there, but it's okay. Okay, so we have our little ghost. So cute. And now you can leave it like this, or you could add more little things to it. Um, I think I'm gonna add. Um, this little candy little thing here on that one. So I'm just gonna add this little candy thing here on this this little side here. So cute. So you see how cute these ghosts are? Okay guys, I want to show you something really quick. Remember that when I did this ghost, um, the mouth there was kind of wonky and I didn't like it? Well, I went back with a damp cloth and I wanted to see if I could um, take it off and it actually came off. So it's actually really good that um, you can't take out um, this glaze ink here. You could take it out from the acetate. So that's really nice if you, know, if you do actually make a mistake, it's really good that we could do that. 
so yeah that's what I wanted to share with you guys and I really hope that you like it so here is another little ghost I made here is another one so I really really love how these little ghosts turned out let me know what you think guys let me know if you like this tutorial and um, I hope that you really um, really really try these if you do um, let me know show me because I would love to see yours and um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe if you like this video please like it and I will come back and show you the spider in another video okay bye guys